can remember four years ago when Jenna was telling me about this guy that was messaging her. She would say, oh, this guy who went to high school with is trying to DM me again on Facebook. I should probably respond, huh? And everyone, that's how the story of Kane and Jenna began. When Jenna first asked me to be her maid of honor, I was super nervous, as you can tell. But telling Jenna no, you can ask Kane, doesn't work out very well. What I want to tell you is that I'm so proud of you. I could reminisce about all of our times as kids, or through our high school years, of trying to keep secrets from my parents for me. You know, the stuffed animals and alcohol. Jenna, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Jane, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It is my joy and honor to introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kane and Jenna McEwen. my best friend fall in love with the man of her dreams. I remember asking her once, what do you like most about Kane, Jenna? And she responded, Victoria. He's the most humble person I know. He's always thinking of his friends and family first. Oh, and he's so cute and he's funny. Y'all should have seen the way her eyes lit up when she was talking about him. I swear, in that moment, I fell in love with Kane. Well, I know that when we met, I would be meeting a friend that would I would consider my brother. Our matching shell uh, necklaces were a good sign that our friendship was meant to be. Uh, Nancy, 
I would like to thank you for believing in Kane and our friendship. It was a good thing you made us friends again because after that incident, I saved his life in the kitchen while he choked on a strawberry. I gave him, I gave him the Heimlich in the strawberry in the kitchen. You're welcome, Jenna. Thank you.